SQL Quick Post Purchase Order Module can efficiently manage hundreds of customer orders with thousands of items to deliver. SQL automatically detects shortages and places orders with suppliers when stock falls below the reorder level, calculating the required restocking instantly. The entire process is straightforward, efficient, and ensures accurate inventory replenishment. In Outstanding Sales Order Document Listing, click on Post Purchase Order to view the details of the outstanding items. The system will automatically tick for the items when the available quantity falls below the reorder level. Supplier are automatically assigned based on the settings in Maintain Stock Item. In the Supplier Item tab, add a D at Supplier Item Code to prioritize this supplier. If no default supplier is set, you can manually select one, you can search by supplier code or company name depending on the selected column. The available quantity is calculated using the formula. Balance quantity plus outstanding purchase order quantity minus outstanding sales order quantity. Balance quantity is captured from the maintain stock item. Purchase order quantity is the total outstanding quantity from purchase order. Sales order quantity is the total outstanding quantity in outstanding sales order document listing. If the available quantity is negative, indicating understock, it means an order needs to be placed. The system will automatically suggest the order quantity based on the available quantity or reorder quantity. For instance, customer orders 10 units and the reorder quantity is 5 units, the order quantity will be set to 10 units. Conversely, customer orders 6 units, the available quantity is 4 units, and reorder quantity is 20, the order quantity will be set to 20 units. Please note that the suggested quantities are editable by users. The unit price and discount are automatically displayed based on the last purchase order. If no relevant purchase order exists, the system will use the reference cost. Users can modify both the unit price and discount, and the system will then calculate the subtotal. If additional remarks need to be added for the supplier, you can enter them in the Remark 1 or Remark 2 column. The purchase order date corresponds to the purchase order document date. Optionally, select the default unit price setting if preferred. After confirming that all information is correct, click the Post button. System automatically generate all the purchase order. To manage access rights for the Quick Post Purchase Order feature, untick is allow PostPO to restrict a user access to this function. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.